What's up everyone? When installing your own air conditioner, things can get tricky or messy. As the saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way. Luckily, there are many examples from DIY enthusiasts and professionals alike to guide you. If you've never installed a window air conditioner without screws before, it can seem complicated or just plain confusing. In this video, we will show you a step-by-step -step guide to make the process hassle-free. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know the basics and be ready to do it on your own. If you want more information or further detailed steps, check out the links in the description below. If you have tips or tricks to make this easier or have another video you'd like to see, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So grab a snack or a drink and the necessary supplies and get comfy. Here we go! Step 1. Choose your AC unit accordingly. Choose a unit recommended by the US Department of Energy with an energy efficiency rating of more than 10. The British Thermal Unit or BTU rating will depend on the size of the room you are trying to cool. You can find this rating in the manufacturer's packaging. Step 2. Prepare your work area. Find the central points of the AC and your windowsill and mark them. These two marks should line up in the installation. You can now use the weather strips provided to seal around the window. Seal all the contact points and the window frame to prevent air from getting into the room through gaps between the window frame and the AC unit. Step 3. Prepare your AC and side panels. As with any purchase, check your instructions and provided parts to ensure the correct and safe installation. Most manufacturers will provide you with adjustable side panels. You'll need to install these to the desired width and then fasten them by tensioning the screws to the AC unit. Step 4. Install your aftermarket support bracket. Depending on the area you live in, a support bracket may be compulsory. For the sake of safety and a screwless installation, we recommend purchasing a quality one like the Black & Decker BAB2438. This product is adjustable and connects your windowsill by hooking onto its inside and supporting the platform on the outside of the wall. You must also check your unit's tilt, which for most manufacturers is about 1.5 inches. Tilt the unit toward the outside so that it will keep any condensation in the unit's drip tray to avoid any damage to walls and floors or avoid a simply unsightly or annoying drip outside. Step 5. Place your AC unit. With the work area and AC unit prepared, it's time to install the AC unit. Take note that you'll be needing an assistant for this step so you could work more efficiently. Line up the center marks made earlier on the windowsill and AC unit. Once aligned, the window can be closed onto the AC unit, securing it in place. Ensure that the window is behind the AC unit's frame. Failure to do so will result in an unsecured AC installation. Next, extend the side panels all the way out until they seal up against the weather seal installed on the window frame. This seal is more than sufficient to prevent any loss of cool air. Step 6. Connecting your AC Typically, the power cord provided with most window AC units is 6 to 9 feet. If this isn't enough to reach the outlet, it would be best to extend or replace the actual power cord of the AC unit, keeping it permanently connected rather than using a temporary extension cord. A 12-gauge wire should be the safest option considering the power drops after the unit startup. It's the best option to prevent poor performance of your AC. If replacing the power cord affects the product's guarantee, install a new outlet closer to it. This could cost anywhere between $100 and $250. That's all there is to it! Now that you know how to install a window air conditioner without screws, give it a shot! If you thought this video was helpful, please press the like button and subscribe. If you have further questions, let us know in the comments below or check out the links in the description. Thanks for dropping by and we'll see you on our next video!